Hello lovelies. Alright, first things first, I start with a clean face. Now to make myself look all ghostly pale, I am going to take the Hard Candy Glamouflash Concealer. And this is in the shade Ivory, which is surprisingly too pale for me. And I am going to dab that all over my face and blend it out with a beauty blender. Then, for the foundation, I am using my usual Makeup Forever HD Invisible Coverage Foundation, and I am just dabbing that on with a medium blender. I'm going to set everything with the NYX HD Studio Finishing Powder and a fluffy brush. For the brows, I am going to be filling them in with the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in black. And I am going to use an angled brush. Now I'm going to make them look a little more pointy slash arched and sinister to fit with the vampy feel. And for primer, I am using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I'm going to apply that all over my lids as well as underneath my lash line. Shadow. I am applying the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in the shade Marilla Cherry. Now this is probably my favorite red eyeshadow that I have found because it is a lovely dark deep sort of cherry wine color. It's, it's just wonderful. And you are going to apply that all over your lids. And the Smashbox Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Black and as usual applying that with a little angled brush. Now I am winging it out a little more dramatically than usual because what vampire wouldn't have very dramatic winged eyeliner? And then I am curling my lashes and applying the L'Oreal Miss Manga Rocks Mascara.
And for the contour, I am going to be using the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, and I am taking the shade Risqué and applying that in the hollows of my cheekbones as well as my jawline. And of course, I am blending it out, that way it doesn't look too harsh, but I am definitely going for that sunken in look. For the lips, I am using one of the few MAC lipsticks I own, and by few I mean two, and it is in the shade Diva, and I am going to apply that all over my lips. to apply a pair of very fluffy falsies with my trusty duo lash glue and I did not film it because they decided to be stubborn but you get the idea and I'm just blending it with my mascara so my real lashes and the falsies will blend seamlessly <laughs> And to add a little extra blood drip effect, I am taking the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nosferatu, which is very fitting. And I am drawing a little squiggle in the corner of my mouth, which I very skillfully blocked with my mirror gummy. And this is the finished look. I threw on my trusty black wig and a lacy black dress. Now you can put on obviously some fangs if you would like to, but I didn't feel like it. Anyhow, all the helpful links are in the description below. I love you guys dearly, and I'll see you next time. Bye!